This is a question on commercial mathematics in which we are told that a man brought a house at $350,000 and he paid 20% of the cost from his own resources and the rest he paid with a loan which he took from the bank at 7% simple interest per annum for 8 years. Okay, so our mandate is to calculate the total cost of the house to the man, the percentage increase in the cost of the house as a result of the loan which he took and then the percentage loss correct to two decimal places so we need to note this correct to two decimal places if after paying the loan he renovates the house at a cost of ten thousand dollars and then sells it for four hundred sixty thousand dollars so so this is a classical question on commercial mathematics talking about profit and loss percent profit percent loss okay and simple interest so in the question that we are given we can already note some things we can see that there is an initial cost price that was given as $350, okay? So yeah, that's at $350,000, okay? Then, that is the original price of the house. But the man paid, look at this, he paid, he paid 20%. And that 20% is going to be 20 over 100 of the amount that is supposed to cost him of three hundred fifty thousand dollars okay and what is that going to give us if we bring in our calculator okay so we are going to say 20 divided by 100 times three hundred and fifty thousand okay so that is seventy thousand so the amount he paid initially was seventy thousand dollars okay so that's something we should note. Then, if he paid $70,000, the amount remaining. So, we can further say that, therefore, the remaining amount is now going to be that $350,000 minus the $70,000 that he paid. So, this is $350,000 minus the seventy thousand dollars that he paid and that's going to give us 350 minus 70 is two hundred and eighty thousand dollars so two hundred and eighty thousand dollars is what the man is having to balance and that is what he took a loan from the bank for okay so this this amount is the loan he took this is the loan he took from the bank Okay, so that is the two hundred and eighty thousand dollars that we just got. Now, having gotten that, we are not told that that loan was taken at seven percent simple interest per annum for eight years. So the simple interest with which the man took the loan, the simple interest on the loan, we know by formula for. Simple interest is principal times rate times time over 100. So that the simple interest on the loan, it will be the principal is this $280,000 that is remaining. The rate we are given to be 7%, okay? And then the time is 8 years over 100. And if you evaluate this, let's just bring in our calculator again. So we have 280,000, okay? Times 7 times it divided by 100 so that's 156,800 this is 156,800 dollars now these are all done in order to get us to get the total cost of the house to demand so we can say in question here the total cost which the man incurred in purchasing the house will be his initial down payment, which is $70,000, okay? Just follow this and you'll get it right. Plus, the loan that he took from the bank. You can see this is the loan that he took from the bank initially. And that is $280,000. Plus, the interest that he paid on the loan, okay? So, normally, instead of just paying the full amount, he just made an initial payment of $70,000. That is reflected there. Then he took a loan, a lump sum from the bank, which is $280,000, okay? So, but after 
taking that loan and paying for that particular house, you can see that this 70 plus 280 will amount to the original cost price of the house, which is $350,000. But because it was a loan that he took, he need to service the loan, okay? And in servicing the loan, he accrued a simple interest over eight years at 7% of 156800 So the total cost to the man is going to be the addition of this thing. Now, this 70000 plus 280000 is the 350000 that was being asked for the house. We just need to add this simple interest. And we can say this is just um, this answer that we just got plus the 70000 that was his down payment plus the 280000 loan that he took from the bank. So that is equal to what? That is 506800 So this is nothing but... Five hundred and six thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, so that is the question A. In question B, now we are asked to find the percentage increase in the cost of the house as a result of the loan. Now look at this. The original cost price was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, but the total cost for the man. The total cost which he paid was what we just calculated now so that was five zero six thousand eight hundred dollars okay so the percentage increase in the cost of the house will now be evaluated using the formula the percentage increase is going to be the total cost minus the cost price over the cost price multiplied by 100 percent okay this is a formula that will help us just like saying you want to look at percentage gain percentage loss it's just now is an increase we want to get out increment that is paying but express in percentage okay so if you want to get that that will be 506 800 minus the 350 that was the original divided by the 350 that was the original multiplied by 100 percent okay so we just want to find this we can bring in our calculator again in brackets i have 506 800 minus 350 thousand okay and at the denominator i have 350 thousand then i can close the bracket multiply by 100 okay so that is 224 over 5, but expressed in decimal place as 44.8%. So this is nothing but 44.8%. So that was the percentage increase as a result of the loan that the man took. All right. Okay, so we can now go to question C. Now in question C, we are told that what will be his percentage loss? Correct to two decimal places. If after paying the loan, he renovates the house at a cost of $10,000 and then sells it for... Forty-six thousand dollars. Now that means that the total cost, total cost, is going to be the amount that he paid to service the loan, which we originally got to be five zero six eight hundred dollars. Okay, plus now the cost of renovating the house, which is ten thousand dollars. Okay, okay, such that that total cost is now. 516 five, one, six, eight hundred dollars okay but that is his cost price but now he also had a selling price his selling price was just given to be was just given to be four hundred and sixty thousand dollars and then we are mandated to find the percentage loss now we know that by reason of our formula the percentage loss is now, between the cost price and the selling price, we are seeing that already the cost price is greater than the selling price. The amount with which he, he got the house is more than the amount in which he is letting it go. So, it's a loss. So, the cost price is total. So, it's going to be the cost price. In this case, what we are calling the total cost minus the selling price, okay, over the total cost, okay, multiplied by 100%. So, if you just want to put in the values for those, that will be the total cost, which is the cost price, 516 
800 minus 460,000, okay, over 516,800 multiplied by 100%, okay? So, if we just input that into our calculator straight and direct, you can just again say, I want to look at a fraction. I have my numerator as 516,800 minus 460,000 okay and the denominator is 516,800 and then I can close that bracket and multiply by 100 okay so that is going to give me 10.9907 in four decimal place 10.9907% but look at the question we're asked to find it out correct to two decimal places so students you don't leave your answer in four decimal places when you ask to get it in two decimal places so this will be approximately two decimal places we mean that after this decimal place we count the number of digits to be two so we have nine we have nine those two are going to be taken into consideration normally we consider this but zero is normally rounded down to zero and added to the initial number zero plus nine is still zero so though so the solution will be ten point nine nine so that is going to be his percentage loss if after paying the loan you renovate the house at the cost of ten thousand dollars and you can see this ten thousand dollars was added to all the costing that the house had accrued for him and then it says for four hundred and sixty thousand dollars and this will be the solution to the question all right so these are the kind of videos that we constantly upload on day to academy so that they can help you to build your provisions in your stem subject and be the best that God had created it to be. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, it is free of charge and it's not going to cost you anything, but we'll have information and access to all of our videos once we upload them. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, click on the notification bell so that you have notifications of our videos once we upload them. And until next time, God bless you.